English English and American English are not the same thing. And as a Brit living in Texas, who's been with a Texan for 20 years, but living in America for 10, here's a list of things that Americans say that I know drive British people a little bit crazy, but I don't necessarily agree with the Brits every time. First up, pants. Brits say trousers and they hear the word pants and they go, well, that just sounds a bit ridiculous because Brits call their underwear pants. Pants is short for underpants. Under pants, guys, they go under pants. That's why you have underpants and then you have pants. So I'm with the Americans on this one. Next up, diaper. I don't know if it's just me, but when I was living in the UK and you'd hear Americans call nappies diapers, they always sounded kind of weird and strange and a little bit childish. But I'll tell you this much, after living outside the UK for the last 25 years, anytime I hear someone say nappy, I think exactly the same thing now. The next one's a stone cold classic, soccer instead of football. Now, before anyone digs into the history about Brits invented the word soccer as a shortening of association football, we're going to get past that because football, as in soccer, football is a game played primarily with your feet and a ball, football, whereas American football is played primarily with your hands. I think the middle ground is calling it American football. We have Australian rules football, we have American football and we have football football, though I will admit that rugby, a game very popular in the UK and around the world played primarily with your hands, is a shortening of rugby football. So maybe everyone's wrong. This next one, I'll admit, does make my eye twitch a little bit. It just sounds wrong to me when Americans say they've done something on accident. On accident. Like a Brit would say, oh, I did it by accident. It just sounds strange. It just sounds wrong. And honestly, when someone says it, I have to bite my tongue to stop from trying to correct them like a three-year-old not quite getting the English language right. But I suppose the theory behind it is you can do something on purpose. So I guess you can also do it on accident. But mm, it just sounds wrong to me. Another one that just sounds wrong to my British ears is uh, addicting. Someone's eating something and they go, oh, be careful. These are super addicting. And I go, don't you mean addictive? They're super addictive? Addicting sounds like, oh, you just haven't quite figured out the language, right? You know, you're primarily, oh, I speak French, but I'm trying to learn your language. And I, oh, it's addicting, addictive. Oh, it's addictive. Yeah, just sounds wrong to me. Now, this is the one where I feel like my British brothers and sisters are going to come for me. But um, I, I mean, I was the same as them when I was growing up. I used to find this word strange. Um, that word is ass. In the UK, we say ass. Um, but I have to be honest, ass is way better. Ass is just a bit too posh and it sounds a bit ridiculous. If you're telling someone you're gonna kick their ass, they're like, <laughs> you're gonna be so polite about it. So yeah, guys, just go with ass. I'm sure there's many more that I'm forgetting. So do me a favor, drop them in the comments and let's just all argue about it because we're really good about doing that on the internet.